ये अक्टूबर का महीना है ब्रेस्ट कैंसर अवेयरनेस का मंथ है तो इसलिए हमने सोचा कि आपके साथ ब्रेस्ट अवेयरनेस पे एक सेशन हमें करना चाहिए क्योंकि अभी ब्रेस्ट कैंसर बहुत तेजी से बढ़ रहा है एज पर द डेटा एज पर द स्टैटिस्टिक्स हर चार मिनट में एक महिला इंडिया में डायग्नोज होती है विद ब्रेस्ट कैंसर आई मीन एवरी फोर मिनट वन वुमन इज डायग्नोज विद ब्रेस्ट कैंसर एवरी थर्टीन मिनट वी लूज अ वुमन टू ब्रेस्ट कैंसर काफी भारी नंबर्स लगते हैं है ना जब हम इन नंबर्स को सुनते हैं लेकिन इसमें अच्छी स्टोरी ये है कि मोर देन एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द ब्रेस्ट कैंसर दे आर प्रिवेंटेबल दे आर अवॉइडेबल हम उनको बिल्कुल अपनी जिंदगी से बाहर रख सकते हैं ये सबसे अच्छी स्टोरी है और इस स्टोरी के ऊपर संजीवनी लाइफ बियॉन्ड कैंसर काम करती है आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम डॉक्टर मोनिका सिंह Dr Monica Singh is currently employed as professor and was ex chairman at the Center for Social Work Punjab University Chandigarh from 28 June 2021 she is also working as assistant coordinator social work for the undergraduate and postgraduate level at igno independently since the year 2008 at the chandigarh study center She rendered guidance to around 350 BSW and MSW students for practicums and research project independently since 2008 for the igno students till date Dr Monica is the guide to 7 PhD students at Punjab University the psychosocial aspects of breast cancer and also uh, how important is the role of social worker in this arena or this area so when you talk when i talk about the psycho i'll come straight to the topic of uh, psychosocial what are the issues which are faced by people who are suffering from breast cancer and uh, how the uh, how the role of a social worker is important in this and uh, Uh, when you talk when you say that breast cancer uh, is uh, the very uh, word breast cancer uh, raises an alarm so when you say that breast breast cancer is diagnosed in a, a woman uh, so it is it is the is a it is a cause of extreme stress for patients and their family and um, also um, anxiety distress depression and post uh, traumatic stress disorders are the most frequent uh, psycho social or psychological disorders in breast cancer patients uh, apart from that cognitive disorders and sexual dysfunction can also be important in um, affecting their quality of life both in younger and older patients and uh, if we look at the uh, if we com- have a comparative picture uh, younger and older patients have different characteristics of disorders and uh, they have different strategies of managing these disorders and uh, there are va- various uh, psychotherapeutic and uh, supportive approaches which have shown and proven uh, that um, if you effectively manage the psychological disorders in breast cancer patients um, so uh, there is uh, there is a chance of giving them a better quality of life and every best breast cancer patients should be supported with these techniques uh, during the the moment you diagnose that the person has breast cancer so to increase the quality of life and uh, we, you know we all know that breast cancer is the most common uh, non cutaneous uh, malignancy which is diagnosed in the women and also uh, facing breast cancer represents a huge stress for the person who has to deal uh, with the new and challenging issues which are uh, associated with this and accepting the diagnosis then undergoing the treatment then understanding the prognosis then handling different kind of possible side effects then uh, managing a, pos- uh, a possible relapse and then facing uncertain uh, future uh, uh, future complications these are all uh, these are all st- uh, stages of stressful uh, process which can cause a, a psychological instability 
instability in the person and can also lead to depression and mood swings and other mood disorders and um, many of the breast cancer patients also experience multiple concurrent psychological systems uh, symptoms which um, uh, which can uh, during their cancer uh, care uh, trajectory such as distress and uh, cognitive impairment and body image and uh, different kind of uh, 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 like physical also changes which take place in them and uh, when you look at uh, the breast cancer uh, patients uh, i think a lot lot of uh, organizations lot of um, institutions the government uh, then philanthropists then civil society members they all are uh, they all are making different efforts to come forward and to take care of the needs of the patients and especially the social workers when you talk about um, this, the role of social workers i feel uh, the social work profession um uh, is rooted in the progressive movement of the early part of the 20th century and um, how it evolved and how different areas evolved where social work uh, was uh, emerged as a subject and as a connect between the people and the uh, the, the medical uh, arena the medical areas and how um, different uh, problems were um, uh, detected and solved and preventive measures were taken and uh, when you talk about oncology social work uh, there have been lots a lot of researches which have made important contributions to the knowledge base uh, which supports the profession also and uh, it has its roots in the medical social work which started in the us and a development of if you look at the development of the cancer treatment uh, the body of research uh, kind of informs that it's art and uh, that theory and practice both have to be uh, taken into account and it is uh, if you look in the uh, there is a lot of advancement it has grown and also gained a lot of stability and legitimacy and uh, oncological social work uh, along with social work research has made a lot of uh, rapid strides in the uh, 20th century and uh, its impact and relevance has been spreading uh, to every area and it is now if we look at the present situation it is even uh, stronger than how what it was before and uh, i feel uh, the the impact of um, education the impact of media and the awareness uh, which uh, different like i mentioned uh, for example sanjeevni and be holding this uh, session today uh, so this uh, is uh, going to be reaching out to different people so uh, it is going to make an impact and what we uh, the information we disseminate so i think uh, whatever impact if it reaches out to people and spreading awareness and we also marking the uh, cancer awareness month which is october and um, so so i think that uh, social workers can contribute in a lot of way and there are six ways of uh, uh, combating this illness first is understanding your diagnosis so understanding the diagnosis is very important then assessing the financial assistance what is the financial assistance which is uh, required for um, for uh, treating the patient for looking at the financial needs then advocating for yourself advocating for yourself is very very important then uh, talking to the loved ones talking to the family about it that uh, what is the problem and what is the uh, what the the patient is feeling because if there is an outlet i think uh, and strong will power is very very important in combating the 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 disease and then supporting the cancer caregivers the role of social worker is also supporting the cancer caregivers and planning for the future so So these are the six areas which are very very important for the social worker to understand and uh, uh, and also an area which i feel is uh, connecting the patient and the family with various policies which are available from the government side and um, uh, which are available nationally and which are state specific policies so this this would be a, a real help to uh, the patients who are uh, diagnosed with breast cancer and i feel uh, for if you look at the solution or the strategies for prevention uh, keeping the weight in check is very important then eating uh, lots of fiber fruits and vegetables and uh, then also avoiding birth control pills particularly after the age of 35 and um, also finding out the family history that if somebody in the family has uh, been diagnosed uh, diagnosed with uh, this kind of cancer cervix cervix cancer or breast cancer so uh, finding out that history 
and uh, also uh, time to time after a particular age uh, to see that mammography is done and also finding out connecting the role the social workers should organize and plan that uh, wherever there's free mammography um, available from the government side or from ngos or from different organizations so trying and connecting the society with uh, with these uh, free facilities then uh, from time to time in the community the social worker um, the role of social worker is very important that uh, going to educational institutions then uh, sensitizing the the teachers the the school principals the teachers and parents should be called and uh, girls who are in the adolescent age uh, trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, sensitize them and uh, telling them about uh, any kind of irregularity which is seen in the uh, periods when uh, they start and also the kind of bleeding they have and uh, if any uh, anybody has fibroids and also regular ultrasounds to be undertaken for and i feel that uh, the uh, the social workers in the educational uh, institutions can have regular um, uh, checkups school health checkups uh, it should be a part of the school health checkups and uh, if you talk about the rural areas or if you're talking about the uh, the urban areas the government uh, the social workers should connect with the the dispensaries the civil hospitals or the government facilities or even from time to time especially in the month of october a lot of people come forward and uh, even the private organizations uh, they come forward and hold a lot of uh, free checkup uh, camps cancer awareness camps which uh, which uh, make an impact on the society and um, i have uh, i have been in this profession um, uh, for a very long time and uh, i also involved my students uh, in october and not only in october uh, or otherwise also to um, pick up an area and try to sensitize and try to reach out to the society so that we can nip the problem in the bud and uh, programs should be undertaken for uh, the general improvement of the women's health uh, and uh, giving them information about nutrition nutritional education then um, uh, a comprehensive health program i feel needs to be planned and uh, the social workers should also uh, sensitize that we wherever uh, the hospitals wherever there is a reimbursement policy uh, that should be um, uh, people should be made aware of that and uh, uh, for no ch children uh, sorry uh, the cancer uh, girls who are um, uh, detected with breast cancer uh, they should be uh, shown uh, uh, like videos for preventive uh, as a preventive measures in schools in uh, different communities from time to time and uh, different online sessions should be held uh, the social media i feel can uh, connect uh, the social workers can connect with the social media and hold lot of programs because the idea is to reach out to the society to see to it that uh, we tap cancer so we uh, there are a lot of cancer survivors also who come out even stronger because they feel feel that they need to connect with this uh, uh, with this uh, like uh, this uh, what do you say endeavor to see that uh, how they can uh, be a part of the the programs which are taking place and um, a lot of social work uh, there are there are many uh, caregivers also and there are a lot of institutions uh, and a lot of volunteers who come forward and who are cancer survivors so i think connecting with them uh, would be a great uh, uh, like uh, endeavor great motivation and uh, every uh, section i think uh, uh, we should try and uh, see to it that the right kind of knowledge is imparted and involvement of the resident welfare associations involvement of the market uh, associations because um, it is not just that uh, holding uh, seminars or holding uh, any uh, like i gave you educational institutions we have to tap every uh, area every uh, every section of society especially the civil society members they need to play a major role uh, to come forward and um, uh, different uh, modes different and bilingual uh, different states should be having interactive sessions and um, to reach out to the society and uh, 
see to it that we try and prevent breast cancer and especially um, i think uh, at the primary uh, especially the women uh, who are uh, who feel that uh, that yes uh, lot of, when i was listening to the lectures i heard that there were a lot of myths there are a lot of myths which i also uh, have heard from people and children also tell me that a lot of superstitious beliefs are there and which also uh, cause a lot of damage i know about one or two people and uh, one of my very close friends uh, she unfortunately she could not survive she had breast cancer and uh, uh, initially a lot of people guided her that you can uh, go to these um, uh, people who will give you some leaf water somebody will uh, will uh, tie a thread around i think all these superstitious beliefs and everything needs to be uh, curbed so that people don't lose out on that golden hour on that time because time uh, with every passing day if breast cancer is diagnosed and with every passing day uh, i think the disease multiplies and the problem worsens so uh, i would just like to conclude by uh, saying that uh, we need to uh, stand up we need to uh, rise up to the people who who are there who are uh, prone uh, sorry not prone who are uh, who have been diagnosed with this kind of problem and how to uh, what contribution we can make as social workers as civil society members as as students as volunteers as uh, whatever position we are in and uh, i feel that um, uh, as a team we can contribute a lot and we can prevent this uh, disease from spreading because early detection can also lead to uh, curing uh, the problem so uh, i think we should bring up bring down the percentage uh, together i think we can and we should so thank you so much i really Jeff. want to extend my thanks to nmdc uh which is doing a great job in nation building as far as their core strength is concerned but uske alawa bahut hi socially aware organization hai and uh, is tarah ke webinars jo hum karte hain unko hamesha uh, support karti hai and because of that support we are able to reach thousands of people तो आप लोग जो हमारे साथ जूम पे डायरेक्टली अभी कनेक्टेड हो इसके अलावा दिस वेबिनार विल बी लाइव ऑन फेसबुक एंड अदर सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स एंड आई एम श्योर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल विल बेनिफिट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वेबिनार सो थैंक यू एन एम डी सी ऑल्सो अ वेरी बिग थैंक्स टू फिनो बैंक हुज कम फॉरवर्ड टू सपोर्ट दिस वेबिनार